Okay, well this is part two of this uh, black rock sterling engine idea where you take the uh, black rocks to absorb the heat and store it and then you differentiate it with the cold from the evaporative cooling. Now I've got a pot here that's got this coating on it. It's a planting pot and I've got uh, planting soil down there and then white paper towels to reflect the heat. And I got them all wet. I got that very wet. And that's my cooling source right there. And the black rock is the uh, heating source. Now what I wanted to show today was what would happen if you add the Fresnel lens to this. And it was interesting. What I discovered was you don't need to put this into a focal point, to a pinpoint. All you got to do is put that in an area around where these rocks are and that gradually heats up the whole top surface of this engine and it gets faster and faster and faster. But uh, what I was thinking was perhaps we wouldn't need to have this on a tracking system. If you just had a fixed focal length on this Fresnel lens on a bed of rocks, it would gradually heat up a plate on the bottom of that bed of rocks during the course of the day. And even though the sun would be moving uh, this would actually, uh, I think, concentrate the heat it's from an area here, and it still might work. Now, if I bring this into a pinpoint, this will start burning, and we don't really want to do that. We want to, we want to have this heat dispersed on that whole top part of the engine. And uh, I found this very interesting that you could take this Fresnel lens and make it go into a pattern where it heated up the entire top of the engine and those rocks and uh, it just gets faster and faster and you only want about uh, on these LTD stirrings you want about a 20 or 30 degree temperature shift is all between the cold and the hot but anyway I thought that was rather interesting this uh, use of uh, Fresnel lens they're very very effective Thanks for watching.